Good morning, and thank you for joining us on Renew, a daily devotional for you. It is Friday. I know you're usually used to seeing me on Monday, but I have my beautiful wife with me, <laughs> and uh, we're going to do uh, today's Renew. And uh, today's Renew is entitled, Life is Better When You Praise God. And um, speaking of praise, I have my Eagles shirt on here, and... Um, the Cowboys lost this week. Are you still praising God, even though the Eagles won and the Cowboys lost? Oh, life is better when you praise God. Okay, good. We're putting it to application <laughs> here. I have the for right sure. answers this morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to read our text is found in Psalm 150. It is the very last chapter of um, the book of Psalms, and uh, certainly what a way to close out um, the book of Psalms. And I'm going to read it, and then uh, Kylie's going to read the devotional for us. Praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery and harp, praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and organs, praise him upon the loud cymbals, Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. And then I love this verse six. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. So go ahead and breathe. All of you, we're all breathing. So today, that means all of us need to praise the Lord. You want to read a devotional for sure, us? Sure, yes. Life is better when we praise God. It doesn't make sense. Something bad happens, but we praise God anyway. To praise this way is to understand that despite life's ups and downs, and even while storms rage around us, God is still good. Or perhaps more importantly, God is still God. This perspective keeps us from thinking we can manipulate God with our praise. We can't. True, God rewards praise to him with amazing and supernatural power and peace. But praise isn't a strategy to dislodge supernatural gifts from God. Praise flows from a true and deep understanding of who God is all the time, despite what else is going on in our lives. All who seek the Lord, sings David in Psalm twenty-two twenty-six, will praise him. Even the meek, he declares, will eat and be satisfied. Mm. It's a statement that understands this critical truth. Since God is God and God is good, Whatever he allows in his divine will ultimately will be perfect and right. Even when we feel poor, we will eat and be satisfied. The process of seeking God naturally leads to praise. Of course, we only want what's good. That's human nature. But that's the point. In our humanness, we fail to see what God knows about the circumstances of our lives. That he has a vantage point that takes in the entire spectrum of our lives from the very beginning to the very end. So no matter what happens, he still reigns. Knowing that and knowing him, we can fill our days not with worry, but with the blessing of praise. I will praise the Lord at all times, declares David. I will constantly speak his praises, Psalm 34, 1. Even during bad times, yes, especially then. Wow. So the challenge for all of us today to continue to understand that life is better when we praise God. And I read something this week, and I want to just end with this, and then we'll close in prayer. Happy moments, in happy moments, praise God. Mm. In sad moments, seek God. Mm. In painful moments, trust God. And in every moment, thank God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, that life is certainly better when we praise you. And I pray that each one of us today will look at things that we can praise you for. They are all around us, small things, big things. And I pray, God, that you'll help each one of us to remember certainly life is better when we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So thank you for joining today. Remember Romans 12 to our theme verse for Renew. Uh, really challenge us not to be uh, transformed 
uh, or, or conformed by the world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind and prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So thank you for uh, joining in today. And uh, I pray that all of us, I praise the Lord for you. Aww, thank and I'm you. so thankful for you. Um, certainly God has given us many, many gifts. What are you thankful for uh, here today? And remember, life is better when we praise the Lord.